Hello and welcome to Web Steps channel. This part is an introduction to an application that we will start developing in the next video. Now this is part zero. I will give you a tour of what we were going to build. And uh, I did here some uh, UI design. I will show you the design and explain to you how this application works. First here we have the home page and uh, this application allow user to use public transportation to share the trip with nearby users that also share the same destination or a destination that is near to the destination of the user. So this application helps them find these users. Alright, first a user need to have an account so he can create his account or log into his account. New user will first start by creating their first route. A route consists of the origin location, the destination point and the dates they need to travel or the days uh, per week that they need to travel this road. So here is the page where a user can set its the origin of the trip and the same page will be very similar will be for the destination. Now for the time, the user need first to set the hour at which time he need to take this route. Next he will set either a single date using the calendar or set the days of the week if it's a repetitive task once he creates the road here by by tapping this create route he will be redirected to this page this is his route in details so as you can see we have the route to the name of the destination here then we have some summary of the route Next, we'll have the list of available matches that the application automatically found for the user. So here, as you can see, we have two matches. Now, using this match here, using this route that is created by John Doe, will take him 22 minutes to arrive to the destination. So by sharing it with this user, there will be a three minute addition time on the road. This user five in total it will take 24 minutes so a user can also click on the route to check it on the map how the, the final route will be so as you can see here this is an example for the first route for the first match and the application combined both routes so this is the this, the origin for the user for the user and this is the origin for the second user and the destination for the second user is here and the destination for the first user is here so it builds the route the best possible route to pick up both user and drop them on their destination that way if they decided to share if they agreed on sharing the route they can uh, split the cost between them so if in case the user is satisfied with this route he can send a request or we'll be adding here a button to allow the user to chat with the other user in case he clicked the send request it will open the the window a window chat and publish here a message saying that the request has been sent now he can type any message he want to send to the other user to john doe once john doe connect he can either accept the request or they can chat a little bit if there is some question to ask each other so this will be between them the discussion and if they both agree they then they will have an agreement now this is this part is between them this is out of uh, the service of the application now this page here lists all the routes for the user and allow 
the user to disable a certain route that he don't need anymore or he want to temporarily uh, disable them plus he can delete permanently the needed route so he can click on this more option here the icon here and he'll get the delete option once he click on the delete option a checkbox a checkbox beside each route will appear he can check any route that he need to delete and finally there will be a an icon here the delete icon which will delete the collection of routes selected by the user of course here as you can see we have the bell which uh, shows user uh, notifications and warnings so for example if he got a request from other user concerning a route he will get notification here and this uh, icon here the avatar for the user will allow the user to manage his profile and uh, settings for his account so this is the basic uh, ui interface there will be of course more features and as you can see some of the current features that has hasn't been covered in this design for example the management of the user account it's not fully covered here plus there will be a user rating that hasn't been covered in this ui design now that's it i guess I guess this is ah, one more thing here as you can see there's the manual search now this manual search is a little bit uh, more advanced feature and will be left as the last feature now as you can see here concerning the matching solution the application will, will rely on MongoDB to search for nearby routes from within two kilometers from the origin we will check if there's any other origins once we find a match we will verify that the time is not more than 15 minutes plus finally we will check that the destination is not farther than two kilometers from the destination of the user route so this way we'll find the matches but uh, this is not a complete solution for example in case the route was long let's say 20 kilometer or 30 kilometer kilometers the problem here once the road is long is that there's a section of the road a segment of the road that will be not covered by the system because the system check from the origin two kilometer and from the destination two kil two kilometer so there will be a vast uh, part that is not covered by, by the application. Here, we will give the user a manual search to be able to search along the road for nearby uh, origins. So he can click on the map, click anywhere near the segment of the road, he can click. And uh, on the point of the click, within two kilometers, the application will scan the area to see if there's some origin uh, route and will provide the result now the user once he gets the result he can choose one of the result he can click on it and it will draw the combined uh, road together so this is later on this is actually under planning so it may change later in the future but that's it this is the application in general and one more thing about this application this this will be a pwa application that will be uh, built using react js and node js with mongodb of course and express js here we have the design for the desktop it's, it's very similar for the mobile with but share more information on the same screen this is another this is the route creation on the desktop now concerning the database here we have the user's document which contains the name email password is email verified profile image score and notifications so of course the user will have a score as i said this is the rating for the user and we have the user ratings so this is the list of ratings uh, created by users for other users and we'll be having the user's messages. This is the chatting uh, list will be here. 
and the routes will have uh, the origin, des destination, the time, the days, the user ID, the is matched. Uh, is match is necessary because we'll be saving the once we perform the match action we'll be saving the result in a sub document called matches this way we will reduce the request on the google map which are paid now it's ma is match will tell us if the match has been provided for this routes the match to is once a user decide on a route one more thing I would like to add here is that a route could be matched with two or three other routes and uh, the route could be shared by two or three users. So for example here this user John Doe covers Monday, Tuesday. So maybe the user need Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So this is this cover Monday, Tuesday. Another uh, route will cover Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So he can match it, match it with two other routes. Or he can match it with another route that is already have been matched with a third route. So for this scenario, we will try to add the other checkpoints on the road here to inform the user that there is a match already for this route. You will be sharing your route will be shared along with other two routes so all will be visible on the map so this is the application that we will be building so we will start of course by creating a wpa application we will build the home page and uh, we will uh, create the of course the front end with react and we will make sure it is a pwa application and it is installable on the user mobile whether from his browser or from the Google Play Store. The next step will be creating the, the authentication of the user and the account management. And we'll go from there to build the rest of the application. It will have several parts. Now, how many parts? I haven't yet made this, uh, this plan for the parts because, uh, this because there will be some explanation. I will explain what, I, what I'm doing and this will affect the time needed for developing this application. Also there it will be the recording and editing the video and all this stuff which will expand the time of building such an application. Alright, I hope you like this project. So if you do, uh, follow me by subscribing to this channel. Give this video a like so I know that people are interested. And uh, hopefully to see you in the next video where we start building this application. Have a nice day and uh, see you soon.